Hey there, Josh here, and today we're diving into the world that's all about brewing exceptional espresso without breaking the bank. If you're a coffee enthusiast on a budget, looking at making two to three coffees a day, or you simply want a compact, entry-level, yet powerful coffee machine at home, then this one's for you. We're shining a spotlight on the Gargia Classic Evo Espresso Machine. So let me turn this on for you right now, and it will get warmed up no sooner than it takes to watch this whole video. And we'll certainly be making a coffee from start to finish, so you can see the workflow. Now stick around as we explore how the Classic Evo can deliver both quality and affordability. And we'll also show you how it's not just about cost effectiveness, the Evo is about brewing a cup of coffee that will make you a true coffee connoisseur within your own home. So let's not waste any more time, Hit that subscribe button and join me as we delve into the Gargia Classic Evo. You won't want to miss this one. First, let's unpack the specifications of the Classic Evo. From the top, it impresses us with a 2.1 litre water tank, and it's conveniently refillable from the top of the machine. What sets this machine apart though is its forward-thinking design, and the water tank is effortlessly accessible from the front of the machine as well, and all it takes is by removing that drip tray first, and then gently pulling the tank from the back of the machine. This thoughtful feature is truly a game changer, and while the tank is transparent, it can sometimes be tricky to gauge the remaining water level. To address this, Gargia added small cutouts to the side panels of the machine. Taking a peek under the hood of the Classic Evo, you'll find a minimalist yet powerful arrangement. The 140mm boiler might seem modest, but it's well balanced by a robust 1400 watt heating element. This combination ensures the Gargia Evo warms up with lightning speed, taking minutes to be ready. The heat generation also serves the purpose of keeping your cups pleasantly warm up top. And it's not an extravagant cup warmer, but it is evidence that this machine is set up fully capable of delivering a handful of perfect coffees throughout the day. Now, taking a look down on the front panel, you'll encounter the three fundamental functions of this machine, and these are represented by straightforward rocker switches, accompanied by indicator lights that let you know when that function is ready. You've got your on and off switch, a brew switch, and then your steam switch. And here's an added bonus. For hot water, you simply need to press the brew and the steam switches at the same time, and then turn the steam nozzle on the side of the machine to dispense hot water straight from the boiler out of the steam wand. Taking a look at the steam wand, this is a professional grade stainless steel wand that swivels out to the side and back, but not up and down. The two hole steam tip does work like a charm to quickly create that silky microphone milk that you're after for those delicious lattes. Under the brew head, this is made from solid brass and is connected to a three-way solenoid valve, which is crucial in ensuring a clean brewing process. Indeed, there is that delightful surprise tucked beneath the Gargia that, considering the machine's compact size, the drip tray is remarkably spacious and practical. And it's one of those moments where appearances can be deceiving in the best possible way. This roomy two-piece drip tray is easy to remove, easy to clean, and then adds that touch of convenience that's unexpected and appreciated in your coffee routine. All round, the Evo is wrapped in a sturdy stainless steel body that not only looks sleek, but also adds that touch of robustness to your coffee ritual. And it comes in several colors to suit your decor. Now, one more highlight to the Classic Evo includes the commercial standard 58 millimeter portafilter. Whilst it might seem like a minor detail, it's anything but. With the 58 millimeter portafilter, you have the power to explore a vast range of accessories and upgrades for your machine. And this means you're not locked into proprietary components or limited choices. Instead, you can choose from a wide selection of premium portafilter baskets, tampers, distributors, and other preparation accessories. And it's like having a key that unlocks a treasure trove of options. And this portafilter is accompanied by three filter baskets. We have a single and a double non-pressurized basket along with a double pressurized basket. This trio of options makes it possible to brew a delightful espresso even if you don't have a top tier espresso grinder or are using pre-ground coffee. The pressurized basket releases espresso once the right pressure is achieved, 
resulting in a rich crema that's full of flavor. And whilst it's not a complete replacement for espresso from non-pressurized baskets, it does serve as that ideal entry point to espresso brewing without the immediate need for a costly espresso grinder. All right, so now that the machine is warmed up, and before we proceed to make coffees on the Evo, I do have some preliminary information that is important to share. So let's take this moment to discuss the workflow of the Gargia Classic. You see, this machine uses a single boiler, and that's a feature worth understanding. Unlike machines with dual boilers or heat exchanging machines, a single boiler is responsible for both brewing and steaming. And here's what this means for your coffee experience. With a single boiler, you won't have the ability to brew your coffee and steam milk simultaneously. And you will want to complete these individual tasks in turn. But don't let that discourage you. When you are brewing the espresso, the heating cycle inside the boiler dedicates itself entirely to creating the perfect shot. And then when it is time to froth the milk, with a flick of a switch and a short wait, the machine switches gears, employing that same boiler to generate the powerful steam that you need to create the creamy microfoamed milk. So while it might not have simultaneous capabilities like you have on a dual boiler machine, the single boiler design does bring a certain finesse and simplicity to your home barista routine. And it is a machine that does take a little bit more time to ensure each aspect of your coffee is perfect. But in a world of coffee making complexity, the Classic Evo single boiler is reassuringly simple, yet an effective choice for great coffee. So on that note, what do you say? Let's brew up a couple of coffees and see really how easy it is. Now, I'm gonna be working off my two standard drinks that I make absolutely every morning, and that's a long black, or an Americano, depending on where you're watching, and a latte. Let's do this. Probably should have set all this up prior, but on the bench, I'm employing the Varia VS3 Generation 2 grinder. I just did a recent review on this grinder. I think it would be a great combo along with the Gargia Classic as they're really both slimline but performance-based. Like this is a fantastic grinder and it's gonna make fantastic espresso. Now, there is a few ways that you can attack this. You can make all your espressos first and then steam your milk, or you can steam your milk, set that aside, and then make all your espressos first. For me, I find it more comfortable to make my espressos first and then steam my milk. Now, I'm also going to just completely make my long black from start to finish and then make the espresso for the latte. Uh, that way I can kind of sip my coffee whilst I'm making the latte and continue to talk. So, on that note, let's keep uh, let's keep making this coffee. Now I'm going to add some hot water to my cup. Now, as I said, this hot water is coming straight from the boiler, so it's going to be nice and hot for my long black, which is great. Nice. It is nice and warm. Now let's make the espresso for the latte. Okay. 
I'm gonna say, I'm not always making a coffee from behind the espresso machine. It's always, always an interesting one. Nice. We don't even need that much milk. Oops, here we go. Flick the wrong switch. All good. Now, with the espresso for the latte done, I'm gonna flick this switch. And when this button turns red, it's time to steam your milk. Keep an eye on it, but. Oh yeah, that's really warm. Should I say hot? Oh yeah, that's hot. That's delicious too. Nice. Here we go. You can hear it warming up. You can hear the boiler coming up to temperature. So it's going to start creating a lot of powerful steam out of this steam one. Which it certainly does. Oh yeah, that's plenty of steam. Wow, it came up to, it came up to temperature really quick too. Probably can turn this off now. Look at that. Wiggle, wiggle. A little bit of milk left, but that's how I make a black coffee and a milk coffee every morning on the Gaggia Classic. Mm. Now let's dive into what makes the Gaggia Classic Evo truly shine. First and foremost, it is that perfect embodiment of a compact and affordable espresso machine and is your ticket to crafting exceptional coffee at home. To what I would say is perfectly capable of rivaling what you would savor in a cafe and also does so while standing the test of time as a market tested and reliable espresso machine. Now the compact design doesn't just save on counter space, it also offers a surprising amount of power and performance that in the right hands, this machine can brew coffee that's on par with or even better than you would find in a professional cafe. Now, in speaking of reliability, the Classic Evo has proven itself already in the market for so many years as a machine that has earned a reputation to deliver a consistent high quality coffee experience day in, day out. Now, an interesting aspect that can be seen as both a pro and a con is the Evo's insistence on a top quality grinder. And in many ways, this is a testament to its commitment to exceptional performance. When you opt for using the non-pressurized baskets, this demand becomes evident and the quest for incredible espresso does come at a price. To truly unleash the classic Evo's potential, especially with the non-pressurized basket, you will need to invest in a high quality grinder. So it's a pro for maintaining top-notch performance, but it's no different to any other great espresso machine but it is also a con that demands a bit more of an investment for that exceptional cup. And yes, let's address the other limitations of the Gaggia Classic, being that single boiler workflow. 
This can be a little bit of a dance and you'll generally want to brew your coffee before then moving on to steaming the milk, or as that's the sequence that I found helpful. It can limit you to about two to three coffees at a time, and it is a minor trade-off for the value that it does offer. Also, the machine can be a little bit light when you do want to handle it gently to ensure it stays in place on the bench. And when you consider the exceptional value of the Gargier Classic, these minor limitations do become less of a concern, and it's a bit like having a remarkable deal on your favourite coffee. You'll happily adapt to savour the brews that it offers. And when it comes to comparing the Gargier Classic to a contemporary in the market, I think on the Breville Barista Express. However, it's almost like distinguishing between two different philosophies of home coffee making. Let me explain. Whilst the Barista Express leans towards convenience, the Classic Evo is firmly rooted in delivering a commercial grade experience without compromising on quality. And I like it towards choosing between a shortcut or the scenic route. And the Breville Barista Express offers a quick, convenient path to your daily brew, but it does come at the cost of some precision. Whereas the Classic Evo places high emphasis on quality, and then it's all about taking your home barista game to that next level. So whilst both machines do have their merits, the Classic Evo Pro is that choice, I believe, for those of you who are seeking, I guess, an uncompromising commitment to incredible coffee. And the big question does remain, should you bring this gem into your own home? Absolutely. And the Classic Evo not only delivers a commercial grade experience, but does so at a price that's almost too good to be true. You do still have to ask yourself though, are you making only around one to three coffees a day? Are you looking to save on space within a small kitchen or perhaps not looking to spend a fortune on a good espresso setup? And if you answered yes to any of those questions, then the Gargia Classic Evo could be your next espresso machine. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey as we explore the Gargia Classic Evo. And I hope you found this review helpful. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and also share your thoughts in the comments section down below as we would love to hear about your experiences with the Gargia Classic Evo as well. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.